You know, all this social change that's happening in America, you have a lot of them just freaking the hell out. And they go to one of their favorite platforms, Facebook, which is experiencing a mass, you know, exodus right now of advertisers because of uh, the amount of hate speech that's being allowed by Mark Zuckerberg and he won't do anything about it. Now you have this particular mayor by the name of Mark Chambers. He's a mayor of the city of Carbon Hill um, in Alabama. All right. So, you know, he resigned of being a mayor, you know, after posting disparaging uh, comments about the University of Alabama, you know, football team voicing its support for the Black Lives Matter movement. It said months after he refused to step down after calling for the actual killing of the alphabet community. Yes, he actually called for that. Um, they said that he has submitted his resignation letter uh, to the city clerk on Saturday. The motion um, has been approved by the city council yet. As I have an emergency meeting will be held regarding the matter on Wednesday. Now I said Chambers resignation filed a series of comments he made on his private Facebook uh, page hours earlier. Screenshots were circulated widely on social media um, across the weekend. It says so the uh, contentious figure initial post said he was selling his photos of the Alabama uh, football team and head coach Nick Saban as it because of their sorry political views, meaning supporting the Black Lives Matter movement because you know, the University of Alabama have a lot of black players. It's kind of hard to take a position that you don't really support black lives. I mean, it's kind of hard not to um, take that position when your players are black, okay? It's a, he said that the tide has done his opinion. So he had made a, he said the post appears in response to too many videos shared on the official social media pages of the Alabama football team last week in which a diverse group of players um, and Saban read an essay by Crimson Tide offensive lineman Alex Leatherwood that said all lives can't matter until black lives matter. It's true. It's a hundred percent true. So on the post, um, you know, this mayor put, I got several Alabama pictures for sale and Nick Saban and the Crimson Tide is done. In my opinion, I post them tomorrow. Somebody responded, I think you may be right. They haven't looked good in the last couple of years. And he responded, I'm not getting rid of them because of how they perform. He said, is there sorry, you know, political views is why they're getting out of my house. And then the person responds to a defense ain't the same as it was. He said, when you put black lives for all lives, they can kiss my, well, whatever. So that's what he says. So now he ended up removing the post off his social media page. Um, then they had a second account, uh, posting his name, come up and put a graphic like all lives matter and Jesus died for us all. Okay. So after his, you know, big time, you know, um, controversy from the previous year, you know, he was, you know, upset. He said, you know, when you live in a society, um, where homosexuals lecture us on morals and transvestites lecture us on human biology. You know, he said the only way you could change it would be to kill the problem out. He said, I know it's bad to say without killing them uh, out, there's no way to fix it. And this guy is actually a mayor of a town and advocating um, to kill people because he did not agree um, with their lifestyle and how they live. Uh, my thing about that is as long as they're not bothering you, and what they choose to do in their bedroom is their business. And that's how anybody should take it. Their bedroom, their business. As long as they are not doing anything to you, then Hey, that's that right. As long as they're not forcing things on you against your will, that's how you have to take that. Okay. There's laws and all kinds of other things in this country to protect them. So you can't go around saying that. So he should have been really gone a long time ago. So now, you know, after this, you know, now he wants to turn in his resignation. See, you know, this situation that's going on right now, this uh, reckoning that's happening in America, I'm loving to see it. I'm loving it because it's about time these people move out the way. We sick all these doggone racist people being in charge of, you know, being mayors, being district attorneys, being police, being judges, you know, being teachers in schools, all these positions that have some sort of power to it. You know, I'm glad they're getting rid of them all. I'm so glad. I love these stories when they quit or they get fired or whatever. I love it. And we should love that too, because maybe somebody can come in to that town that actually got some common sense and don't think that way. 
and I, nobody cares if he don't want to watch the university of Alabama, who cares? That school making whatever money they making off of the NCAA. You are the last person they're worried about. Well, so what are they supposed to do? Say, uh, all lives matter and not black lives and, and piss off the players. And, and then you, you already know the play that young brother in Mississippi said, and listen, I'm not playing a down of football until they removed that Confederate flag off the state flag. Guess what happened in Mississippi? Now all of a sudden they voted to change the state flag. So don't tell me that our young brothers can't make a push. Our young brothers can't break the NCAA if they wanted to, they could. All they would have to do is say, I'm not playing. That's all they have to do. And trust me, they make way more money off of those young brothers playing than them. It will cost them to change the flag. That's free to change the flag. They ain't gonna hurt them to change the flag, but they don't want to lose no money. Collegiate sports make billions of dollars. So they gonna have to give some of that stuff up. And I'm glad that black people are actually now starting to leverage the, the things that we actually are part of and that we can actually a control to a point. We may not own it, but they wouldn't have it. It wouldn't be for us. But leave me a comment there. We'll think about the situation with this particular mayor uh, stepping down. Um, I think he should have did that a long time ago, but hey, good time um, is better than no time at all.